Now we're inside the the garage or the workshop here. You can see uh, we have a boat anchor station set up here with the Heath Apache the HQ150 and its matching speaker. And then over here on the wall is the uh, MFJ uh, 998 auto tuner. Um, we've got a coax coming up from um, the shack in the house and then another coax going to the boat acre station and there's a there's a switch the switch between those two and uh, there's a, a line os oscillator there that goes to the input of the tuner and then the tuner coming out of the back here we have uh, the antenna wire and that goes up to a uh, double pole, double throw relay and the contacts are connected in parallel just to double their capability and uh, then the antenna wire continues after it goes through the relay up and uh, out through the, uh, the wall and it goes out to that mast that I just showed you. Now also coming out of the back of the tuner is a, a heavy ground wire and um, as you can see it goes down below the tuner and down into the ground to the ground rod and it's also linked to uh, the metal fence that goes around the backyard and that kind of gives us a, uh, a point of ground for uh, 160. The um, relay has a power cord here that's plugged into a, a switchable outlet which I control from inside the shack and um, that also controls the power to this little power supply down here which supplies power to the tuner so it, it can turn the tuner off and kick the relay off which disconnects the antenna and grounds the antenna also. Um, the counterpoise wires are individually run through the wall here. One for 80, 40, 30, and 20. Uh, I haven't put any in for uh, the higher bands yet. It, it doesn't really seem to need it. It resonates very, very well on all nine HF bands. Uh, you can see here on the uh, the tuner, if you can read the readout, it's telling me the last time I operated I was on I was on 7.023 megahertz. Uh, SWR is 1. Uh, forward power is 76.7 watts. That's what's left from 100 watts after going through uh, 125 feet of RG213 and that that's uh, about what it should be and then the reflected power here is zero so we're getting a perfect match and I can obtain this match on, on virtually all bands with this system. Without the counterpoise it's very difficult to get the SWR down that low and there there is a little bit of RF floating around here without without the counterpoised. Otherwise, they they really don't contribute uh, a whole lot, but some uh, to the radiation, and I'm sure they do affect the pattern of the antenna to to some degree. I have a uh, little toroid here to filter RF from getting back into the uh, DC power supply. And let's see if I can show you. I can't show you right now, but there's a an outlet strip that uh, I have run a pair of wires into my uh, shop, and I can uh, turn this off and on from there. This is the IC uh, 7000, which uh, mainly I've been using it for a piece of test equipment right now. 
to uh, set this system up. And uh, right here is a the grid dip. Actually, it's solid state dip meters. This one's made by Kenwood that I have been using to uh, to tune those uh, radials.